Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope everybody is fine amidst this COVID crisis. And we were doing a voltage regulator, Zenodiad is a voltage regulator in virtual lab. And uh, I hope you all know by now how to uh, actually get to into this video that uh, virtual open virtual lab in Google and then go to basic electronics part and over there you'll get all the list of the experiments and from there we'll do uh, Zenodiad as a voltage regulator probably this is experiment number nine and we have divided this experiment in three to four parts because uh, it was easier for me to actually discuss with you we have already done a Zenodiode line regulation, Zenodiode load regulation, and Zenodiode line regulation draw part. And today we will do Zenodiode load regulation draw part because in Zenodiode load regulation, what happens, the circuit is already done. And in a Zenodiode load regulation drawing part, I have to actually connect and show you how the circuit works, okay? So uh, beginning with this, we have uh, I always say that to go through the theory, the procedure part, and then start this uh, uh, simulation, okay? So uh, click on Zenodar load regulation drawing part. And as you might be uh, knowing that in this type of regulation, the input voltage is fixed and the load resistance is varied and the output voltage remains same as long as the load resistance is maintained above a minimum value. So this is the interface that opens up uh, for load regulator. We have the control panels over here, you have the circuit, and you have the experimental data table part, and also the instructions are provided here. So before uh, starting, just uh, uh, get hold of these instructions and then begin your uh, simulation part, okay? So one more thing you have to keep in mind is that uh, while doing this, uh, just revise that as an entire load regulation part without the drawing circuit, the link is given in the description box. And one more thing is that if you make any kind of mistake uh, while connecting this, you have to delete all connections. So very slowly you just connect all of the parts. So we'll connect point number one with point number three. I'll also go slowly and point number four with point number seven, point eight with point 15, 15 to 10, and again, 11 to 17. So this part completes your above section. After that, connect this 16 with seven, 18, sorry, and connect uh, 17 to five, okay, and six, uh, will be connected to 18, okay? This is the connection of the meter. After that, connect with 13 and 15 because this meter should be connected. Sometimes my cursor is disturbing. Connect 14 to 19. So meters are connected. The last section is left, that is connect nine with 16. So connect this part with this part and nine with wrong. okay? So this is your entire connection. Go slowly, connect the uh, things together. And if you forget at any step, just go to the instruction part. Each and every step is uh, given there in detailed format. You don't have to worry about how you will be able to do uh, this experiment. This is very easy. After that, you hit the check connection box. That is the... Uh, it prompts you that the connection is right, and it also prompts you to set the value of resistance and input DC. So set the input DC voltage to six volt, okay? So I have set the six uh, DC voltage to six volt, and then a Zener voltage to say 5.6, and in some colleges, they take 5.1, 5.4, but we have done uh, with Zener specifications of 5.6. And you have to make the RS value as 100. So you can see the changes in the respective boxes. So RS is 100. Now you have to actually vary the load resistance. And 
take the reading. So let's vary the load resistance gradually. So I have I varied and active table. So this is my first table, first point, and this is the six volt DC voltage, five point six nano voltage. This is my resistance, and this is my first value after take varying RL. So gradually vary RL and don't have to rush, uh, take uh, values at equal intervals so that you get a nice curve and you're able to understand the function of Zener diode as a load regulator. One more thing, uh, uh, if you are stuck at anywhere, please drop in your questions. And if you have any kind of doubts regarding uh, this, you can also mail me. I have a website where you can access study materials free uh, of cost, no subscription charges are there. You can also uh, take exams from there. You can also uh, get uh, PDF copies of many books. So just have a look at uh, the website. Link is given in the description box, okay? So I have taken quite a few points. Uh, I have taken them arbitrarily, I don't know. Uh, so I have uh, taken and I've made active tables or so table is being formed. This table should be there when you're submitting your uh, question. And after that, I want to see the plot. So clicking on plot, I have my load regulation curve presented right in front of you. So this is my load regulation curve. And this is the complete circuit of the load regulation for a load regulator uh, of, as a Zener diode as a load regulator. And uh, you have the tables, you have the settings. Now you can take another uh, set of values. You can take Zener voltage as 10 volt, RS as 100 ohm, and voltage as 12 volt, and vary. This is given in the instruction itself. I don't know. Uh, what will come, how the graph will appear. I just uh, did uh, what we have done in our college. So that is easier for you all to understand. You can repeat the experiment with the instruction given there and see how it turns out to be, okay? So I hope this part is clear. The next part is the only part that is left is the Zenard out characteristics. So this also is a worked out uh, circuit so you don't have to make any connections and all you have to do is just uh, select the diode over here i'm selecting the first one you can select uh, whichever diode you wish to because first one gives me 5.6 value so i've taken that and after that make this uh, rhs1 1 o and then by adjusting this view of stat uh, the voltmeter reading is increased from zero and we'll get the corresponding readings in the milliampere. So this is uh, the Zener characteristic. So increase this uh, gradually and we take the values of voltage and corresponding values of current will be profit, uh, will be tabulated over there. And after that, you just hit the plot button and you get the characteristics of Zener diode. So the main parts are already over Zener voltage uh, regulation. And that is in a line regulator and in a load regulator. I complete them, and if you are stuck anywhere, please uh, write to me. Okay. I hope this is helpful for you all. Stay safe until our next experiment. Okay. Thank you. Take care.